Again, in all uh, all the packs and all the ambulances are set up the same. So this pack is just, or on this pocket is just for uh, minor wound care. You've got an emergency blanket. We've got a nose clamp for uh, nosebleeds. Two bottles of saline just for some wound irrigation, and then just four by four tubs uh, to get wounds cleaned up with. <laughs> Opposite pocket is more for uh, major bleeding. So we've got a SAM splint, triangle bandage to help with uh, doing a sling, and then a cat tourniquet unwrapped in here. In this side, we've got two hyphen uh, chest seals, one for front, one for back. We've got quick clot uh, combat gauze. This is the Z folded for wound packing. We've got a 4x4 four four dressing for um, uh, head wounds, things like that that you're not necessarily going to pack, but they're kind of stubborn to get uh, that bleeding stopped. And then we've got a blood stopper bandage for head wounds. And then just inside this is just a lot of uh, Curlex rolled gauze just to help with more wound packing and with securing bandaging. bottom pocket is for IV administration and IO. So in the top what we found is we switched to a, a different pack. The pack that the IO came in uh, was too large to fit down inside here. So this is actually a uh, Nintendo Switch video game pouch. But it works perfect. So inside we've got several flushes. We've got two each of the yellow and two of the blue. We uh, no longer carry uh, the red, but there's two blues and two yellows in here. The gun is inside here. The drill is in here. Uh, we've got an IV pressure bag here because you've got to have that fluid under pressure. A stopcock and some alcohol preps. And then inside here is your IV module. Inside, we've got, we're carrying two uh, each from 24 gauge up to 14s. There's two of each. We've got several flushes, an IV start kit over on this side, IV fluid, I'm sorry, IV tubing. We've got another start kit and uh, fluid. We've got two start kits in here um, because on the trauma we want to have two large bore IVs started but not necessarily two bags of fluid so that gives us the ability to, to uh, get two starts going and then also just in the back here we've got a uh, folded up stiff neck uh, seat collar that we can use if we get out on a crash or something like that so we don't have to go back to the truck in order to get that out in the top and zips like so we've got in the lid here We've got a vomit bag, a hot pack, and a cold pack, and there's a pair of shears up in there. We've got inside of our universal module here, we've got all the basic vital equipment. We've got a temporal thermometer, a glucometer, blood pressure cuff, stethoscope, and a portable pulse ox. And this is the pulse ox that we'll use with uh, the small pediatric items as well. Inside the medication module has all of our first line cardiac drugs, everything basically that's not controlled substance. So on the outside, we've just got numerous um, mucosal atomizer devices. We've got uh, IM needles and then various sizes of syringes all the way down to uh, the small 1cc syringes for heat doses as well as for uh, the FE1-to-1 for anaphylaxis. In this main compartment, um, usually there will be an amp of D50 or two boxes of D50 in there, but because of the shortage, uh, we're carrying D10. Oral glucose, aspirin, a glucagon kit, and then preloads of Narcan and cardiac FE1-to-10. That all goes in here. 
then this top flap. Right now, up here is albuterol bullets and then one saline bullet for uh, nebulizing the FB1 to 1 uh, for Strider. We've got five vials of FB1 to 1 in the top. Um, the reason we've got additional ones of these, a um, couple reasons. Number one, if we are nebulizing Epi for Strider, it takes two milligrams, so we need two vials of that. Um, and then, if for whatever reason we've got long, because we have such a long transport time sometimes from bird's eye or clear up at the top, we may very well burn through the Epi 1 to 10 that we've got here. We can utilize this with a flush, get rid of one mil of saline out of a flush, draw that up, shake it. Now we've got Epi 1 to 10 again. So we've got two vials in here, uh, diphenhydramine, 50 milligrams each, Benadryl, and then Zofran. We're carrying three Zofrans in here. Amiodarone. So we've got 450 milligrams of amiodarone. So your first dose on amiodarone will be 300 milligrams, and the second and last dose will be another 150 here. And then we've got nitro. As soon as we pick up our um, atropine, lidocaine, things like that, there is room. We can you can move all of these up because these are just velcroed in here. You can move these up and stack your medications in here. And then the last that we have. This is what we're carrying our controlled substances in, and this locks up inside the lockbox inside the ambulance. So in this first pouch, just numerous syringes of different sizes, needles, um, needles with the uh, safety uh, tips on them. And then inside here, we've got mucosal atomizer devices. We've got in the top, there's two vials of Ondansetron, We've got two vials of Midazolam, and two each uh, 100 mic fentanyl vials. And then there's six four milligram uh, vials of morphine in the bottom. And then in this other side, it just unsnaps. And right now is where we're carrying additional Narcan and Epi. Where does that pack come from? This is stat. It's stat as yeah, well. Yeah, that's a stat pack as well. It's, I um, can't remember, they've all got fancy names for it, but um, they've got some different medication modules. This one, you can see um, there's a lot of room to be able to pack additional vials if we had additional vials of controlled uh, medications. But this one carries everything uh, that we need. Um, you know, if for whatever reason we end up getting ketamine or something like that. And we've definitely still got enough, more than enough room to be able to put that. Um, and this works out great, like I said, with um, hiking up to the hot pots or something like that. So you're not having to carry this by hand. With, with this on the side, we can clip it. Or a lot of the guys are starting to carry it themselves now. They can clip it to their belts or something like that. So a lot of us have started carrying carabiners on our belts. So we can take that up with us. Um, it's a lot better than what we used to have, which was a plastic uh, hobby box of stuff. That's so, what we have. And this is this has worked out really well for us. We've got our med uh, waist slips on the side. This is a lot smaller. Everything's compact. You can still, it has the ability if you need to seal it, you can put it together and you can still seal that shut with the, if you need to, with those little locks. So, um, Stat pack, I've been pretty impressed with them. Um, there's always, you know, different things you can you can do. The modules work out great for us. Um, and in addition, you can put three modules in the top of this. If you needed, yeah, if you needed to squeeze three in here, you can you can squeeze them in there. What's kind of nice is when we've been on scene uh, working a full arrest or something like that, I can look at a police officer and say, unzip the top of that red bag and get me the red bag out of it. And that has all my epi and everything else in here and so um, it's nice because you can if things are by color and it all it has things you know it says right on it it says intravenous it says medicine universal things like that once your crew gets knowing what's what um, you can tell your firefighters get me the red bag out of the red bag they'll know what you're talking about so, so on the front 
in the pack, basically all of our ambulances have uh, the same setup. So uh, no matter which ambulance we get into, everything's the same. So on the front of these O2 packs, we've got all of the OPAs are in this front flap, and all the different size uh, NPAs coming through. And in this top, we just have the surgical lubricant for those. Going into here, unzip the pack. The main compartment is the D-size cylinder. We've got, on one side, we'll have adult and pediatric cannula and non-rebreather, and then just the opposite. So adult on one side, pediatric over here on this other side. It's easy to grab. Inside this top part here, we'll have an adult and pediatric bag valve mask. We've got the nebulizer. Right now, <clears throat> we've got the syringes for use with the King Airway. And we've got the King, we've got the three adult size King Airways in here. So the three, four, and five. And then a bulb syringe and a peep, just in case the bag valve mask doesn't have a peep already attached to it. So these are gonna be replaced soon with a three, four, and five eye gel. So, and then we'll get rid of these because we won't need those anymore. And that's basically the setup for the uh, airway bag. <clears throat> so, this is the Med Slinger bag. The newest one now, everything with stat pack is this uh, rubberized material, so it's closed cell, so you're not going to be getting uh, any of the fluids and anything that can soak into it. So, on this front part here, we have just, we've got a Broslow tape, we've got a PD wheel for weight in kilograms, things like that. Basically just uh, the written uh, guidelines that's required by the state that you have to have. You have to have written pediatric guidelines and this um, satisfies that need. So that's just in this front pocket. Mm -hmm. In the intermediate pocket, we've got a stethoscope and the temporal thermometer. We've got a child and infant size blood pressure cuffs. And then in this top part, we've got the pulse ox that can go on the ear, and then the one for the infant that's sticky. So basically all of this front part is just vitals. And we use um, the pulse ox out of our uh, red bag, our big red bag that you see here in a second. That's what we use to plug those into. And then in the main compartment, so we've got airway, neonate bag valve mask, and the kid size kings. There's surgical lube in the top, and again, the syringes. These are going to be replaced by the eye gels. Um, thing with the eye gel is there's four pediatric eye gel sizes compared to two. So it goes from a one, one and a half, two, two and a half. So there'll be four eye gels in here, but we will get rid of these syringes because we won't need them anymore. So that'll change things around a little bit there. Um, on this other side, pediatric AED pads. I have a couple little toys for the kids. Um, emergency blanket and then the pediatric 60 drop set for IV stuff and then up in here is suction. pediatric suction catheter another bulb syringe and then different pediatric sizes and then basically the uh, BBG nasal aspirator the uh, baby booger getter so that we can hook. So everything having to do with airway is in this main pocket here. Okay. Get this pushed back away. 